I remember standing next to the window when the hearse arrived and it was the weirdest thing seeing Dan's coffin like that. I remember saying to myself, that's Dan's coffin. Dan's in there and I thought, whoa, that's what we're doing here. And I thought, wow, I was trying to make a connection. I wanted to, I wanted to feel I was just so emotionless. It was like my body was saying, I'm not gonna allow you to process this right now because you're not gonna be able to deal with it. It's always popping up in my dreams and it's annoying and I'm like, go away because I'll wake up and you won't be there. It's like he's being taken away from me all over again. People ask me, how you say yourself and Dan wouldn't want me to make a to be melodramatic or horrible to people like I lost my boyfriend and now I get to be a horrible person and get away with it that's not me and Dan wouldn't want that from me he was such a lovely he was the nicest and kindest person I will ever meet in my life